I'm tough story in a minute. So let's see how we are in losers finals. Prof versus solo battle. And Prof coming in with a little bit of damage yet. Straight away again, mixing up dash dance, laser, and four up aerials. Yep. Seeing it a lot of it early on as well. Yeah. It's pushing in against solo battle. A lot of damage. Oh, finds the back air there. I feel like a lot of these uh, follow-up aerials as well, if Solo Battle is using his back, he can back air a lot of these aerials. Yeah. Ooh. Prof finds the drill, but doesn't manage to convert into up till there. I think because Solo Battle's at the edge. He gets the tech, but Solo Battle's ready for it. He gets the grab immediately. Shy knock down, but it's Prof who loses the scramble. So edge guard situation here. Ooh. There you go, clean kill for Solo Battle. Yeah, reading the, the high up either. Yeah. Back air, but cross stage, that's not going to kill. Maybe a strong one at the edge here. Ooh, came out a bit late. I think, is he getting arrested? Re grab, goes to the platform, and that was a reaction. He covers it. That's huge. Whole stock up. Yeah, Soul Battle is so consistent that it's. Yeah. Like, that's honestly what Puffs should be doing. I'm. I'm happy that Solo Battle is bringing it to the table and showing for Puff players how yeah. consistent you can be at it. Yeah. Like, it's not a gimmick by any means. Oh, no, no. It's funny that you see all these Sheik players who are, like, optimizing for reaction tech chase for such a marginal gain of, like, another 7% grab, and then it's like Jigglypuff has the potential to do a reaction tech chase for an absolute kill, and it's not being, like, labbed to the same degree. Yeah, no, like, it actually surprised me oh, how it's... Not been pushed further, yeah. but I think for you know every year, melee getting more and more optimized, you can't ignore these type of things. Yeah. And honestly, like I haven't seen a puff going for this many reaction tech chases ever. So I think Soul Battle yeah. is like really showing for puff players that yeah. this is part of the future. Yeah. So Prof down here, but he still is fighting. Oh, Soul about lands near him, but there's no follow up. Oh, Ooh. up tilt, no follow up. Didn't manage to get a jab reset. Oh, Prof goes in between the up tilt, up throw, up air, and he converts it. And that's pretty much even now, last stock. He's brought it back. Yeah, we haven't seen many SDIs from Solo Battle as well. Yeah, it's true. I feel like earlier in the tournament, we've seen him do a little bit better. And then since then, it's just been slipping. Grab, up throw, goes to the back air instead. Just confirm that percent. Oh, goes in with the pound. Prof takes yeah. away, knowing that he can't catch him in time. Up throw, gets to that time. Yep, charging with a lot of these up airs. Yeah, Prof just getting outside of that one. Yeah. He's going to find an up smash or something. Oh, Solo Battle knocks him down, but the get up attack. Oh, great little spacing from Solo Battle on the edge there. Prof keeping the pressure on with the shines. Doesn't cover the tech roll in. All oh, falling up at. Solo Battle just rolls out, doesn't want any part of it. And stuff, Ooh. and he just finds up around the platform. I feel like oh. sort about. <laughs> okay. I was like, that was a little bit too scary. Prof, you need to be careful of that. Yeah, that was really I, close. I know he always likes to do that, but that was like a little yeah. bit too close. Especially with the stock here. It's sort about straight back to battlefield, and it's quick 40% he's taken here. Oh, crabs cancel up for oh. Re grab gets the gets the reaction again. Yeah, every time, dude. Yeah, every time. Like if, if Wizzy, if Wizzy and Plop. Etc. Yeah. can do it like yeah, ten times in a row. Yeah, it's like of course he can do it once. Beautiful getting that up throw up air there from Prof. Probably like just on the percent boundaries. But yeah, no, it's crazy stuff. Back to that up throw uh, rest thing. One thing I would like to see is trying Prof get a bit smashed here on the up air. Because what's been happening from zero up throw up air re grab. Yeah, and yeah. Then it's a setup, so it's like if you're smashed here the up air, perhaps you can avoid the grab and avoid that situation altogether. Yeah, it's uh, very underutilized. I think a lot of Foxes actually don't know that you actually can SDI out. Yeah. But the thing is, like, uh, when I do it, I do it control stick and C stick, and like, kind yeah. of do it like at the same time. Another just like these up for up heads, they're like just on the percent boundaries of just where it's going to kill and just where it's going to connect. Cross managed to get two there. Oh, popping for up tilts. I'm sorry, goes to the net, trying to convert on the platform. Oh. Prof just putting on so much damage here. It looks like he's hit stride again a bit. Yeah. That up smash, I think he was uh, expecting a shield drop, but yeah. Solo Battle didn't bite. Solo Battle tries for the crash cancel, but he's too upset, and then he jumps from the ledge, eats an up smash. Prof three stops to one here. It's looking like we might be seeing a repeat of the winner's set. Close first game, but then Prof just stepped it up.
Start to feel more and more comfortable. Oh, use of the jab there. Lambda will turn around up tilt as well. And that then he hits the it with the shield drop bait, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a Prof Classic, I think. Maybe he's not the only one who does it, but I've been on the receiving end of that a few times against Prof, and it's super frustrating. Someone comes up, you think, oh, they're going to grab you on the platform or something, you shield drop to get out of there. Prof's just ready for it, baiting you to do that. And whoa, Marv! I don't think, I don't think that's going to go well for you, friend. I don't know. Like, I think maybe he's probably going to take a minute to adjust the matchup, but Prof, I think, is definitely on a level where he's not going to be bothered by your pocket Marv. Well, I mean, like, with the past four games or something, like, I can understand He's been getting it. kind of washed out yeah. away. Yeah, okay, fair enough. He was like, well, Triff tried it, maybe I should try it as well, but, like, I'm expecting a 3 or 4 stock here. Great slide, slide off up, the yeah. eye, yeah. Shine following, even with the back hit. That's like one of the really important areas in this matchup is to like just stay outside of Mark's range and then running shines. Yeah. Running shines is like one of your main tools as Vox. Yeah. Really difficult to test from the air, especially with like Mark's forward air. And like up tilt to cut you out. All goes for the. <laughs> he goes for that Tomahawk and Dark Smash. I really like that. He was baiting, uh, sort of about to flinch. Uh, expecting like an area will come down there, but no, just empty lands. And up smashes him. Prof looking really good. Gets a shine. No follow up there. But back here up tilt. Follows the roll. <laughs> Four there. Trying to find the up smash. So greedy here from Prof. But he can afford to be greedy. Up there. Up there again. Can he get an up B maybe? Ooh. Got the weak hit on the last upper. Kind yeah. of unfortunate. Ooh, shield drop. Prof finds the back air. Oh, goes to the up smash. Don't know what that was trying to cover. And then finally it's him up tilt on the platform. Prof's lose goes down. That was pretty unique. Jumping yeah. from ledge, double side B. Yeah. Up smash, raw, covering. Well, like coming into punish a whiff for there. Really tight spacing there for Prof. And really good timing as well. Oh, there you go, Shine. Ooh. Another one. There goes to the up air. Continuation instead. Oh, nice. A little attempt there. Forward air. I think Prof's got a jump, so risky, but managed to make his way inside. Dash tag cuts him out. Forward air. Ooh. I think that was a pivot up smash. Ah, uh, that's okay. He himself out there. You go the free stop from Prof. Ah, uh, yeah. That's you like, give it a go. I understand. But, yeah. you know, you're going to need to practice that a little bit more to beat someone of Prof's standard, I think. Yeah. Here we are. Prof versus left in the run.